Hello everybody, Stevie T here, and I was guided to come on today and talk about perspective. Now, it can be said that we, as individuals, well, as, as spiritual beings, having, having a human experience on this earthly plane, it can be said that we each have our own seat in the auditorium, and there's a stage. And think of it like an amphitheater, and there's a stage. And so each of us, in, we are born into our seat. And from our seat, we can see the visual perspective and the mental and emotional perspective through our character and our personality and our beingness and the energy that which we came here with. And we're seeing all the same thing, the stage. Whether you're on that side of the stadium, you're in this side of the stadium, left, right, all the different gradients in between, we all have our own unique seat, point of view, perspective in the auditorium of life. So I was reminded yesterday that what is normal for the spider is chaos for the fly. So no, I did not make that up. That is a quote from somewhere. And it just goes to show what's normal for one thing is not normal for the other. There, in reality, is no normal. And my message today is to be so mindful and so heartful and so intentional about the quality of your vibration, meaning the energy that you are coming forward with, in all of your decisions, all of your interactions with others, the way that you talk to yourself, the way you treat yourself, on and on and on. To be so mindful and heartful and intentional about the quality of the energy and therefore over time the frequency of your being and to not only respect other people's perspective but also to, as I was guided and I was, and I was being shown yesterday to show this to you, and it's not that I created it or anything like this, it's just a wonderful expression from spirit coming through me. This is what's happening on earth at this time. So we are here right now, you and I and all others, because the things that are happening now in, we'll call it history, uh, have never happened before on this planet, okay? So before we ever got as a human, hu uh, human race, before we ever got to this where we are today, um, we were like clean slated. Earth was clean slated and wiped out many and many and many a times. So what I'm saying is, now, don't allow me to tell you what your truth is. You decide what your truth is. And I'm just merely sharing my perspective from my understanding, from my seat in the auditorium, from before I got here, along with what I've gathered and chosen to believe and what I feel is my truth from my perspective, my seat in the auditorium, is that civilizations have risen and fallen, risen and fallen, risen and fallen. Consciousness has risen and fallen, risen and fallen, risen and fallen. And so the way that we are now as humanity on this planet, so I'm talking about the planet, so it's beyond politics, beyond income, beyond all the stuff, just as a human race, as, as spiritual beings in human form here, bumping up against one another and interacting with one another, even through thought, whether it's physical or non-physical, we have never gotten to the point at which we are at right now. And I do mean overall, and I, our consciousness. Now, if you turn on the news, you're going to see a whole bunch of things that say our consciousness is going down. People are devolving. Uh, De-evolution is going on. And yes, you know, we are still as a collective, because I know I'm not. So uh, we are still killing each other. We're still shooting each other. We're still justifying things. We're still seeing things as separate from us. Yes, thank you. When, we, when, when you hear or feel the concept of oneness, that all is one, it's love that holds 
that oneness together because love and oneness equal the same thing. It's the glue. It's all that there is. Everything else is an expression from that love, from that oneness. When you and I are living with the understanding and knowing and our actions and our deeds and our thoughts are all in alignment. Actions are deeds. I get it. But you know, like the four agreements, when all those things are in alignment, right speech, right feeling, right thought. Ah, it feels so good to talk about this. When it's all in alignment, you are living in love. You are living in oneness, agape love, unconditional love oneness. You don't see yourself as being separate, not even from an inanimate objects, like the telephone that I'm recording this video on. You don't see yourself being separate from a famine happening somewhere across the world. You don't see yourself being separate from pick a celebrity and their lifestyle and, and you know, all the abundance they seem to have. And so when though you are in the in choosing the opposite frequency or some variation away from oneness and love, you are therefore choosing to see yourself and the automatic experience is that of separatism. So with perspective, going back again to humanity and the rise and fall of consciousness, Consciousness has break, broken this threshold in this. So, yeah, sorry, I'm going back a little bit more. You and I chose to be here at this time because this is like, this is a grand experiment. This is like where it all it happens in this way. It can't happen in this way anywhere else in any other format, let's call it. And that's what I've been taught through spirit. So uh, we picked our seat in the auditorium to be here because we're like, wow, if we can actually all together make it past where it's never gone before, we have, because this dimension affects all other dimensions above and below. So that's why there are so many eyes on us on this planet, from physical and non-physical beings in heaven, what, going on and on and on. We affect everything. And it goes down to the littlest detail as the thought you're thinking, the way you choose to think about something, the belief that you hold, the emotion you're choosing, how you choose to treat yourself and treat another, etc., etc., etc. It's a ripple effect. It just keeps going into infinity. So you and I chose to be on this planet at this time. I know sometimes it feels like, why the hell did I choose to come here? But you can learn things here and be things and uh, create things here in a way in which you cannot anywhere else. And so it's so exciting. Think about how exciting it is to be here at this time because we've already broken through with our intention as a collective through any pre a precedent of consciousness. And one second. Okay, brief interruption, so I'm back. So where was I? So from our perspective, we, we wanted to be here. We wanted to choose this arena to experience what's going to happen. So through the collective's decision, um, I've always been told it's 51% has to decide on everything. And once it hits the 51% mark, then as a, the collective, then things will start shifting in that timeline in that way. So know that all things must dis dismantle and dissolve and oftentimes th that looks like chaos oftentimes that looks like destruction oftentimes it's painful think of it like the phoenix how the phoenix burns or you know whatever like rebirth from the ashes comes the phoenix reborn stronger than ever so uh not to say that anything bad needs to happen, but through all change, change being the catalyst to bigger and better and higher things, meaning higher energetic things, um, it's a journey. And so to respect the journey, you don't have to love the journey. You don't have to love the whole part or, or you know, singular parts of the journey, but it's about the experience along the way and being able to share your light and share your love 
and share your compassion. That's what this world needs. Uh, I know you've heard it in so many ways. <laughs> I'm just assuming because I have. However, let's respect everyone's perspective and let's remember this. This is the hallmark of this video. Spirit said to me the, yesterday, they said, so this is the way that things are. Humanity is literally thinking thoughts and coming up with ideas of things that never that have never literally been thought of before on Earth because our consciousness is rising. And it's rising to such a degree where um, all kinds of things are going to be available to us. And that's what this planet and that's what we as humanity have never been able to experience before in this physical form here on Earth. And so think of it this way. They said, if you imagine looking through a microscope and seeing and a cell and say that cell is you or I or a human being and they're having their experience and they're bumping up against things and they're having this whole organic biological experience and then they're animated by spirit a soul and just work with me here for the cell and so you know you're seeing that happen now in the cell's perspective, it's got its own environment and its own set of the way things are. Now, if you're going back to the vision, like I was just saying about looking through a microscope and seeing the cell do things, imagine you as the cell being looked at in the microscope, sensing, knowing, seeing, oh wait, there's the shaft of a microscope. And then think of who's looking through that microscope to view, through their perspective, the cell. And then around that being or that presence, there is an environment around them, it, he, she, what have you. And then around that environment, there's another environment, and then another environment, and another environment, and it goes on into infinity. And so we in our lifetimes and lifetimes after some of you and I, we are going to experience on this planet a, 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 a renaissance in a way that which has never been seen before or experienced in the, the light of consciousness that which we are rising to because we've chosen it and it's a beautiful ride. And so always remember to try to remember to expand your perspective and when you do that, you expand your consciousness. And the final part of this video is a reminder to choose very carefully what you're putting in your body. A wholesome, they're calling it wholesome food, wholesome drink, wholesome company, wholesome thoughts. Choosing good feeling feelings because they feel good and they're right for you. Wholesome activities for yourself, nurturing yourself, nurturing someone else. Therefore, nurturing yourself. We're all connected. And when you do that, no matter what perspective you have or who thinks it's not the right perspective or it's not normal, at least you're being true to yourself. And then, therefore, you are the living example of you being and creating yourself the way that which you came here to do as a form of expression in so many ways. And that is beautiful. That's everything. And we affect everything else beyond our comprehension. It's a good thing to meditate on. It's a, a, a wonderful reminder. And it's a call to settle down in the way of just because things have happened in a certain way before on this planet or in your life experience does not mean the pattern needs to continue. Remember to see beyond illusion, okay, and to see beyond seeming chaos or disorder and see on purpose the underlying order of things or know it in your heart, I just heard, and feel it because it's about sensing. Okay, I'll leave you with that for now. Thank you very much. If you like a personal reading with me, I'm a psychic and a medium, and I will pull cards if you want me to. Go to www.stevetrmt.com. Link is in the description below. I also do Reiki healings, so the remote Reiki. 
sessions or in-person sessions. Same thing with readings. Readings can be in person. They can be via Skype or via telephone if you're in the USA. Thank you very much. I wish you well. And until next time. Thank you.